Hey guys, it's Maria. Today I want to talk to you about a uh, tongue tie or medical term ankyloglossia. So our tongue sits in our mouth and is attached to the bottom of our mouth by a thick band of tissue called the lingual frenulum. Now, if this band of tissue is too close to the tip of the tongue or if it's too thick itself, then it's going to limit your tongue movement. Most of us are gonna have it somewhere in the middle of our mouth. And that is how we are able to move the tongue tip up and down, our tongue out of our mouth and side to side. Um, we usually will know if a child is tongue tied as an infant, if they're having a hard time breastfeeding, latching on, gaining weight, because they're not able to move their tongue appropriately and they're not getting the proper amount of nutrition that they need. Usually what the doctor will do is Wait a little while, see if this stretches by itself, somehow gets detached, moves further back. And if he sees that that's not happening, then he might send you in, um, usually to the dentist, to have it clipped. It's a super quick procedure. I've seen babies come in and out of the dentist office when they have it done. Most of the time, they don't even numb them. Um, as we get older, say this hasn't been fixed over time, it's gonna impact our speech production in certain sounds like L, um, T, D, anything where you have to actually raise the top of your, the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth. So L is one of our hardest sounds when it comes to that. Usually the easiest way for the speech therapist, for the doctor, for the dentist to check and see if your child actually has a tongue tie is to physically take tongue as a baby. Um, and see if they can pull it out. If you can't pull the tongue out past the teeth, then there's a problem. If you do pull it out past the teeth, but now it looks like a little heart because the tip actually stayed in, but the rest of the tongue came out, then that's gonna be another sign of a tongue tie. When they get a little bit older, we'll check and see if they can stick their tongue out of their mouth past their teeth. If they can wiggle their mouth, they can wiggle their tongue from side to side if they can stick out their tongue and bring it up towards their teeth or lip towards their nose. That's how we check to see if it's actually impaired in any way, if it's actually a tongue tie. Um, I'm very oral motor based. For me, I would rather see if we can't stretch that muscle out before we clip it. If the baby is not gaining weight and there is a medical problem, then yeah, go ahead and have it clipped. Like I said, it's a super easy procedure. Otherwise, if they're older children, they've made it this far, they haven't had any problems eating or drinking and they're just having a hard time pronouncing certain sounds, then we can stretch it out. It's an issue of doing different kinds of exercises just to get the movement in there, get the range of motion, and now get their tongue moving to the right places where it needs to be. So I hope that answered some questions about what a tongue tie is and about what the procedures are to fixing it. All right. Thank you. Go ahead and subscribe and comment. Bye.